The play we're going to be looking at in this video is a set play to use against the man-to-man -man defense. It's called Indiana. Now, Indiana starts in a 1-4 high look. So you've got your two post players right around the elbows, and then your wing players will be around the free throw line extended. One's bringing the ball up the court, roughly in the middle of the court. The first movement in Indiana is for one to get the ball to either post player. It doesn't matter. For this example, we're going to be passing it to four, but if one were to pass it to five, we would run the exact same play, just flipped. Now, when one makes the pass, the wing on that side of the floor, so in this case it's going to be three, should shuffle cut up one or two steps and then backdoor hard right around as four is catching the ball. Four's first look is to catch it, quickly turn, fire a bounce pass to three, for a layup. So you can see it goes to four, three shuffles up, back door. That's our first look. Now, if the pass doesn't go to three, then three needs to continue through his cut all the way to the opposite corner. And then right after three is cutting, and really right after he passes the ball, one should then jab step opposite. So in this case, he'd be jab stepping to his left and then cut right around the outside of the man he just passed to. So right around the outside of four. And we're looking for a handoff from four to one. And then one can go in for the layup. That's our second look. So pass to four, back door, one comes off, handoff, layup. Now the third look, which will come around if we run this a couple times, and maybe one's man knows that the handoff is coming. So he almost sort of sprints down the middle of the lane to try and cut one off after he gets the handoff. Or if maybe they try to switch on defense so that four's man drops off of him and gets ready to defend one on the handoff, then we go to our third option, which is after four carries out the fake handoff to one, he will then take two to three dribbles, towards the middle, almost right across the free throw line. And as he is doing this, two should be cutting towards the middle. And then it's another handoff from four to two, where two can get the handoff, dribble right down the lane, and in for a layup. Now it's important for the rest of the players, specifically one and five, when they see four start to dribble, and one will know obviously because he didn't get the handoff, one needs to clear out from that block to the wing on, on his side. So basically we tell our players, get your foot down on the block and then pivot right back out. And then five needs to be dropping towards the short corner on the opposite side where three is because for the final look of the play, five is going to be setting a screen for three along the baseline, so he needs to be going to get himself in a position where he can do that, and also it's taking his man away from potentially causing problems for four when he's dribbling. So we can see the pass, no back door, no handoff, and now four dribbles, two comes around, another handoff, layup. And you can see that one cleared out to the wing, five is dropping down to that short corner. Now. For the last look, what we'll see sometimes when we run this, especially if we do it multiple times, is as two gets the handoff, the man who's been guarding one will try to sprint down, because he's playing help side defense, and cut two off. And when two sees this, he really has two options. We're only going to show one on the animation, but he really has two. If he sees one's man, coming down to try to defend him to where he's not going to get a good layup. He can either kick it out to one for the three-pointer on the wing, because obviously one is going to be open, or, and this is what we talked about in the last animation, five is screening three right along the baseline, so three should be coming right under to the opposite block 
from where two is driving. If two sees this, he can have his head up and just fire a quick bounce pass across the lane to two or to uh, three for the layup. So we see the pass, no back door, no handoff. Four dribbles to two, one's man comes down, two sees it, fires that quick hard bounce pass to three. And what we will normally see is that the defense, because they will be paying some attention to the ball, is that three's man will be a little bit too preoccupied with two getting the handoff to where five screen is really going to take him out of the play. So if five sets a good screen, three should be open at that block. Now, if somehow we don't manage to get any of these layups that the play is designing, what will usually happen is two's gotten the handoff, he's, he takes a dribble or two maybe down the lane, sees he can't get a shot, something happens to where he can't get it to three, then in this case, two can either just keep his dribble and sort of retreat back out, or, like you can see in this animation, if one's man has come down, two can kick it out, and if one doesn't take the three, then one can just dribble it back towards the top, and we can either reset in this play, or we can call a different play. So, again, Indiana, a 1-4 high look to use against the man-to-man -man defense, can be very effective because dribble handoffs are very difficult for defenses to defend, especially if players cut right off of the man who's handing the ball off, because then it's like a pass and a screen at the same time. And so good hard cuts and timing can make this a very effective play against the man-to-man -man defense.